Hello, I'm Landrum Roberts. On this week's edition of the Birmingham Southern Football Review, we'll recap Birmingham Southern's game at Center College. We'll sit down and talk with head coach Eddie Garfinkel and review the 2013 season as well as look ahead to 2014. We'll have player interviews, highlights, and more. All of that coming your way next right here on the Birmingham Southern Football Review. This is the BSC Football Review with head coach Eddie Garfinkel. An inside look at Birmingham Southern football. by Pepsi, always refreshing. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Alabama. When your health care is protected, you can focus on being you. The Greater Birmingham Convention and Visitors Bureau. Greenland Barbecue, ain't nothing like them nowhere. Express Oil Change and Service Center, turn to us. America's First Federal Credit Union, refreshingly unbanked life. Southeast Urgent Care at Fultondale, Providing health care needs for BSC athletes. Hire engineers. If we don't take care of our customers, someone else will. St. Vincent Sports Medicine. Taking care of the health care needs of BSC athletics. Alabama Power. Always on. And by Limbaugh Toyota. Home of the lifetime powertrain warranty. Welcome back to the Birmingham Southern Football Review. Lance Roberts now being joined by Birmingham Southern head football coach Eddie Garfinkel. Coach, you fall on the road this past weekend up in Danville, Kentucky. Your regular season finale, 53-19 to the Center College Colonels. Tough one. Your team started out slow and Center really capitalized. Yeah, you know, going into our last game, of course, we had another open day. Had a couple of weeks to prepare after our homecoming game with Rhodes and um, had two really good weeks of practice. And, um, you know, we knew that going in, uh, center had come off a disappointing loss at Millsaps, and basically both teams were playing for virtually second place or, or third place. And, and uh, the team that wanted it more was the team that uh, was going to go out there and, and, uh, and, and probably win the football game. And that kind of held true. For some reason, we woke up Saturday morning just, you can kind of tell, we just didn't have the same focus and the same look in our eye that it takes, especially for, for this year's team, to be successful and, and play a good team like center. So it's just one of those deals when it goes bad, it goes bad, and, and it's one of those afternoons. Due to the two new teams uh, coming into the conference and actually having their first year of football here in the Southern Athletic Association in Barry College and Hendricks, you have to go back to Danville, Kentucky for the second straight year. And last year, your team put it to them, 42-14, to 14, really gave the center all they wanted en route to your championship season. And you got the feeling on Saturday that center really had this game circled. Yeah, I'm sure that had something to do with it. You know, that was um, actually the first time we had beaten them and, and beat them handedly. And so, yeah, uh, uh, there, there's no doubt about it. Just like uh, early in the year and talking to uh, uh, the head coach at, at, at Millsaps, you know, Aaron Pelch, and, and also talking with Andy Fry, the head coaches at Center, at Center uh, they, and they do a really good job. Um, that's one of the things that motivated Millsaps was, was us going over there and beating them on their home turf for, for the championship. So, uh, yeah, I think a lot, of the, a lot of times those things do play in it. I like to focus on the positives from this 2013 season. You finish up 5-4, and four, you would have liked to have had a better record, but you had some impressive games, some great outstanding moments, and really saw some young guys rise up and play well this season. Yeah, that's one thing. You know, we got off to a really good start with uh, – with the first half against LaGrange and, and didn't finish well. You know, we had our second team in and, and especially in the fourth quarter and and had had you know allowed them to kind of get back in it a, a little bit and and then um, you know kind of didn't really get prepared for Hendricks well and that was my fault and and uh, had had a chance there to to actually lose the game and, and had a big win at Stetson. You know uh, that was a really good 
good experience there. But uh, unfortunately, we lost Joe Moultrie, and that's kind of started, uh, you know, a merry-go-round of injuries where we did have to play a lot of guys. I think, um, you know, last year I think we played two or three freshmen. This year, by the end of the year, I think we dressed out eight freshmen the last game and had to play them, and, and that makes a difference. Yeah, it does, and uh, not to mention the road win at Berry College. I thought that that was one of your most well-rounded victories this season where all sides of the ball, all facets of the game, you really played well. Yeah, you know, uh, after the, the loss to Millsaps, our guys showed a lot of character because, uh, you know, that was kind of it. You know, they, they knew that after the Millsaps loss, as far as winning the conference and all that type of thing, but they came back with a good attitude and we took care of business against Barry. And I think that carried over to the next week against Rhodes. And of course, turns out Rhodes uh, winds up winning the conference and we beat a very good football team that afternoon. Our guys played hard and, and we actually outplayed them. You know, of course we had to block a field goal to, to win the game late, but, um, you know, and, and again, unfortunately, we just for some reason just couldn't get get up for that one last game against center. So, but we do, we did have some positive this year. All right, when we come back. I want to talk about next season. Uh, your thoughts, who's coming back, your plans for the off season, and uh, all of that entailed here on the Birmingham Southern Football Review. But we would be remiss if we did not mention our Birmingham Southern College Athletics Director Joe Dean Jr. Our thoughts and prayers with he and his family this week on their loss. Embrace your past, but live for now. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Alabama. We cover what matters. From Emily's tonsils, Duke's torn rotator cuff, Annie's torn ligament, to Sherry's cancer treatments. That's why we've created our website, hcralabamablue.com, to help you understand the new healthcare reform requirements and how they may affect you. We invite you to sign up for updates and join in the conversation. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Alabama. We cover what matters. Back in 1958, Big Daddy John Bishop opened Dreamland Barbecue with his signature recipe for sauce and hickory fire grilled ribs. And that legendary taste and recipe have remained unchanged for over half a century. Dreamland now serves everything from ribs to pulled pork and chicken to sausage links and still uses that famous sauce. Come in as customers and leave as family at Dreamland. Ain't nothing like them nowhere. A large chunk of your energy bill comes from heating and cooling your home. One of the easiest ways to control these costs is with the programmable thermostat. They used to be a little pricey, but these days you can get one for as little as 50 bucks which is not bad, considering they can save you about $150 a year. So think about installing a programmable thermostat in your home. For more money-saving energy efficiency tips, visit alabamapower.com tips. I'm Peyton Gaines, I'm number 96. I play defensive tackle. I'm from Birmingham, and I went to high school at Macaulay in Chattanooga. My position coach is Josh Taylor. Uh, he's our D-line coach. This is his first year here, and I've really grown you know, to love the guy. You know, he hadn't been here that long, and it's, you know, you know it's like he's part of the family now. Uh, I can t call him, text him any time of the day I want. He's there for us. You know, he's invited us to his house for, for dinner a couple times, just the D-line. And, uh, you know, I've really grown, grown close to the guy, and he's really put an emphasis, emphasis on, you know, the small things, doing the little things right. Uh, you know, every day in practice, you know, he, he revs us up. He gets us going more than any other coaches do, and, you know, I've just loved having him here so far. But the big key is asking for help. You know, there's, there's plenty of support on campus. The football team helps us and, and gets us uh, tutors, anything you need. And the biggest key is going to your teacher and talking to them. You know, if you're not being successful, it's your fault because you're not asking for help and getting things done like you should. You know, there's really no excuse for not getting things done when you have the support that we do here. The atmosphere for homecoming was unbelievable. You know, we had RVs here Wednesday setting up, you know, people starting to cook out Friday night. 
coming up coming up for the game from all over the place. People that you know don't even have kids here that are coming up. Uh, I know that there were probably 10 to 15 guys that were on the team last year that all came up for it. You know, it's you know it's just a really exciting atmosphere, and the game itself was just unbelievable. You know, coach talks talked all week about how we were going to be faced with adversity, and throughout the entire game, that's exactly what we were faced with. You know, at halftime, we were going down down by a touchdown, and they had stormed back and scored 28 points on us, you know, in just a quarter. So, you know, it was really key for us to bounce back from that and come together as a team, and he challenged us at halftime to come out, you know, and give as much effort as we could and, you know, to prove ourselves, and that's exactly what we did. You know, Coach G, you know, he's, he's been here for, you know, quite a while. He was here when the program started, and he was here for the ups and downs through the entire thing, and, you know, he's the, he's the rock. You know, he's the heart of the team. You know, he gets everyone going. You know, he's, he's the one person, you know, you can talk to about anything, and he's going to tell you exactly how it is. You know, he's a good guy for us to come to. You know, he's just, he's a great person, and, you know, he's done everything he can for this program. Welcome back to the BSC Football Review. Landry Roberts, once again, being joined by head coach Eddie Garfinkel. Coach, this 2013, you were forced to play a lot of younger players and build a lot of depth and experience, and I think that that's a bright spot when you look uh, towards next season. Yeah, I think, um, you know, going into this season, we knew that you know, we were kind of uh, having to start over a little bit after, I think in Division Three, especially when you lose 20 seniors that had been in your program since we kind of built it and they had a lot of playing time and, and all that type of thing. And, and that experience, uh, you know, you can't get that without, you know, playing. And so we played, uh, you know, we played a lot of juniors. We, we've, we get our whole uh, defense basically are, are guys that are juniors, but they didn't play a lot. They played sparingly their first couple years. And so they've got that experience. They're coming back. We lose Cameron Budges. Uh, uh, like you said, we had to play a lot of young guys. So overall, we've got the majority of our team, um, you know, coming back for 2014. All right, you, I know recruiting's a lot different in Division Three, and we've been over this many times. Your recruiting season extends well beyond February, but I want to talk about off season in the weight room, and that's really where it begins. Talk about your plans for your team here in this 2013, 2014 off season. All right. Well, you know, every every year, uh, you know, you kind of assess the past year, and you're trying to tweak or make changes where you can get better. And we do that every year, and, and I think we're going to probably do it more so this year than any, anything. Um, but nothing's really changing. You know, last year we played on Saturday, and I uh, had a team meeting, took up equipment on, on Monday, and got back in the weight room on Tuesday for our 2013 team. And we're going to do the same thing again um, this, this year. Uh, but I think the, the, big, the big thing that, that stands out is um, our guys do good when, when uh, they're here on campus in the spring, but when they go home for the summer, that's where we, we have uh, uh, losses in our, our strength and conditioning. And this team, for some reason, uh, really didn't hit their goals like we had in the past. So that's something that we're really gonna try to, you know, uh, impress upon our guys. You've gotta be willing to commit, not just in the spring, but over the summer when it's hard, where no one's watching. So those are some of the things that we're really going to emphasize this year in the offseason. It's interesting you said that because I heard uh, just this past week a well-known strength and conditioning guy say, there's no such thing as maintaining. You're either getting weaker or you're getting stronger. Right. Yeah, and, and that's what happened to us. You know, uh, again, uh, talking about Millsaps, for instance, when I talked to Aaron Pelch, they had 30 guys that stayed on campus last summer, which is rare in Division uh, three, but you know, to compete, you know, in this day and time, you've got to find a way. You know, 10, 15 years ago, one double A's didn't have their guys on campus all summer, and now they do. You know, so we've got to be creative and find ways to got, have guys in the summer and come back in better shape for us to compete. And so that's going to be, you know, quite a challenge. And not to mention, this conference is getting stronger every year now with the addition of Hendricks. They were very impressive in year one, and Barry College was as well. Right. Yeah. You know, I mean, they're they're. You know, going to be good programs, and matter of fact, they probably did better than than we did what our first year or so. So, it's it's everything, and that's what we tell our players all the time. Um, you know, our school, Birmingham Southern, is a tough school. It's a challenging school, but they're going to have a degree that people notice, and uh, the world's very competitive, and you're going to have an edge, and um, and that's kind of how the same thing in 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 college football on all all levels. You know, it's very competitive, and you got to stay ahead of the game. Well, Coach, uh, 
Congratulations on this season. There were some bright spots, and we really enjoyed it, and I appreciate you having us along. Appreciate it. Thanks, Landry. All right. The Birmingham Southern Football Review continues right after this. Southeast Urgent Care, located in Fultondale, Alabama, is owned and operated by former BSC baseball player and alumnus Dr. Paul Roberts. Dr. Roberts is board certified in emergency medicine and has over 10 years experience in the busiest emergency rooms in Alabama. Dr. Roberts and his staff are able to provide high quality medical care in a state of the art facility with digital x-ray and on-site lab testing. Southeast Urgent Care is able to provide the care you want at the time you need and with a friendly attitude that will make you feel like you're not just another patient. With the new mobile deposit feature through the America's First Banking app, depositing a check is easier than posting a latte pic. Just photograph the check, confirm the amount, and send. Best of all, mobile deposit is free at America's First Federal Credit Union. There's a new team in town, Express Oil Chain. Entire engineers have teamed up as Birmingham's premier automotive service centers. You've trusted Express Oil Change for over 30 years for the best mechanical service for your vehicles. And now we've joined with Tire Engineers to offer the best selection of name brand tires. Come see the new team at any of our convenient Birmingham locations today for the best service and tires for your vehicle. Performed by the professionals you trust. Express Oil Change and Tire Engineers. My name's Tyler Johnson. I'm number 11, a wide receiver and punt returner. I'm from Milton, Florida, where I attended Milton High School. Academics here, playing sports and academics, it's uh, what I've learned. It's all about um, time management, making sure you wake up in the morning, even if you don't particularly have a class to go to, getting as much stuff done during the day as possible before you go to practice in the afternoon so you're not up so, night, uh, so late at night. Also, just getting a hold of coaches and uh, teachers and professors because they're on the same page and they email each other and talk to each other all the time. Uh, they're here for us. They're here to help you. They want nothing more than to see you succeed. Uh, the receiver coach is uh, Coach James, but I have to say that I work with uh, Coach White, the offensive coordinator, just as much equally. We spend uh, my time on the field with Coach James, technique, uh, individual work, playing receiver and in the film room with both Coach James and Coach White watching film and getting ready for the game next week. I definitely have a closer relationship with teachers here than I would at uh, any other uh, university. I, uh, they're all here for you. They want to help. They're an email away or an office visit away. I've never had trouble finding a teacher to uh, get help with anything on this campus. And we wake up around 8, 8.30 Saturday morning and eat breakfast as a team. Not much emotion, real quiet. Everyone's thinking about the game, what they need to get done. Then we all go down to the stadium, have walkthroughs, uh, just get mentally focused and ready for the game. After that, we head down to the campus for the Panther Walk, where fans are waiting on us at the bottom of the hill. And uh, that's where it all starts. We get ready in the locker room and get ready to play. Welcome back to the Birmingham Southern Football Review. Landrum Roberts now being joined by Birmingham Southern College faculty liaison, Dr. Jack Taylor. And Dr. Taylor, earlier today, had a chance to sit down with General Charles Krulak here at Birmingham Southern. and He expressed the importance, you the faculty, and you're volunteering in assisting with the academic life of all of the student athletes and their respective sports here at Birmingham Southern. Uh, the general obviously is a uh, big supporter of our students and our student athletes. Each uh, team has a faculty member that uh, works with that team. Uh, we travel with the team, we attend meetings, we uh, attend the games, but we spend a lot of time um, assisting them in academic support, study skills, 
uh, just help them maintain their uh, attitude and abilities in the classroom. Well, right now it's time for our Birmingham Southern Scholar Athlete of the Week, and it's none other than offensive lineman, sophomore Raleigh Payton. Another good example of a true student athlete. He's doing fine in the classroom. He's got a high GPA. Uh, he's got plans for uh, continuing on after Birmingham Southern, and he's an outstanding student athlete. So your Birmingham Southern Scholar Athlete of the Week is sophomore center Raleigh Payton. I'm Raleigh Payton. I'm number 66. I'm a center, and I'm from Hazel Green, Alabama, where I attended Hazel Green High School. The academics here are tough. I'm a, uh, I'm a pre-med major, and just going through the entire week, uh, most of my courses are filled with science, so I spend a lot of time in lab. And I also spend a lot of time in the library where I'm constantly studying. It's a, it's a tough grind going from, from class to football and then back to studying. It takes all day. I wake up early in the morning, get my studying done, go to class, go to football. Just, it's, a, it's a routine filled with time management. My professors here are amazing. Um, I spend a lot of time with them. I need, with a, you know, with a tough load, you're gonna need a lot of help, and they're always here. They push me, but more importantly, they allow me to find the tools where I need to learn and use what I learn in the real world. My offensive line coach is Coach Hollyfield. He's been here ever since I've been here. Uh, he's an absolutely great coach. He, we have, typically we have four meetings a year in which we talk about our academics. He makes sure that we stay on top of our grades and he also makes sure that we keep with our time management and so we don't get overwhelmed. General Krulak is our president and he, he's an amazing guy. He, uh, he's been through so much in his, in his life and I've got to hear his testimony and he pushes each one of us. He's always there for us. He's probably the most personable guy on this entire campus, which is amazing because he's our president. He's such an important factor, not only on campus, but off campus with relations with other people. Yet he's still, he's at every football game. He's on the sidelines cheering us on. And he's just, he's an amazing guy. And he means a lot to our campus, to our football team, and to our community. Embrace your past, but live for now. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Alabama. We cover what matters. From Emily's tonsils, Duke's torn rotator cuff, Annie's torn ligament, to Sherry's cancer treatments. That's why we've created our website, hcralabamablue.com, to help you understand the new healthcare reform requirements and how they may affect you. We invite you to sign up for updates and join in the conversation. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Alabama. We cover what matters. With the new mobile deposit feature through the America's First Banking app, depositing a check is easier than posting a latte pic. Just photograph the check, confirm the amount, and send. Best of all, mobile deposit is free at America's First Federal Credit Union. We've all been to one of those places where they're just making it up as they go along causing problems rather than fixing them, and charging an arm and a leg. Just ask Coach Bowden. Hey, don't let that monkey touch my car. For 64 years, Birmingham families have trusted the professionals at Tire Engineers for the best prices on tires and ASE certified service on the vehicles with no fine print or gimmicks. Don't monkey around with your car. Go to Tire Engineers. Visit one of our seven area locations today. The Big Time Savings Event. This week at Limbaugh Toyota. Camry Special Luxury Edition Package. Only $18,888. Automatic and leather, no charge. Limbaugh Toyota. Big time. $18,888. Camry Special Luxury Edition Package. $18,888. With automatic and leather, no charge. Limbaugh Toyota. Exit 120 off I-59 West. Welcome back to the Birmingham Southern Football Review. 
I'm Landrum Roberts. Well, that's going to do it for the 2013 edition of Birmingham Southern Football. A very special thanks to Birmingham Southern College President General Charles Krulak, Athletic Director Jodine Jr., and Sports Information Director Sarah Areca. From all of us here at Birmingham Southern College, we now leave you with the sights and sounds of this 2013 season. So long, everybody. You know what you gotta do, so let's go do it. Go 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 Rhodes offense will attempt a two-point conversion to try to take the lead. Box throws. Batted away! It's batted away! Batting it away was Ty Keenum, number 47. The field point attempt, no good. Birmingham Southern leads 35-34. Holy moly, what a game. Into attempt. What would be the game winner? 45 yards. Panther fans on their feet. The snap, the hold. It was blocked! It was blocked! And Birmingham Southern is going to hold on. Clocks at zero, and the Panthers have won here on homecoming 2013 in dramatic fashion. Dramatic fashion. The Panthers have defeated Rhodes, giving the Lynx their first conference loss and Southern Athletic Association play 35-34. Wow, what a ball game. We are here at the Panther Tailgate Challenge. Blade, big Birmingham Southern fan. Blade, have you, uh, have you ever seen the Birmingham Southern Football Review? You know who hosts the Birmingham Southern Football Review? The Birmingham Southern Football Review has been brought to you by Pepsi, always refreshing. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Alabama. When your health care is protected, you can focus on being you. The Greater Birmingham Convention and Visitors Bureau. Dreamland Barbecue. Ain't nothing like them nowhere. Express Oil Change and Service Center. Turn to us. America's First Federal Credit Union. Refreshingly, unbank life. Southeast Urgent Care at Fultondale, providing health care needs for BSC athletes. Tire Engineers, if we don't take care of our customers, someone else will. St. Vincent Sports Medicine, taking care of the health care needs of BSC athletics. Alabama Power, always on. And by Limbaugh Toyota, home of the lifetime powertrain warranty.